It's sequel time. This week I was challenged to do Wedding Crashers, and I had the pleasure of checking out the movie for the very first time. Or would I say it's pleasure? <laughs> I don't know. It's up to yeah. you. Do you Did you the like movie? the movie? I, I remember the movie. I remember it was one of those movies. It I saw it you know way after probably mm-hmm. like two or three years after it came out I remember it's one of those movies that everyone would always talk about like right. oh wedding crashes and they would, mm-hmm. like everyone always had like fond memories of it but I, th- I mean i thought it was funny it was just like a stupid r-rated comedy mm-hmm. like i i don't think it's a great movie looking yeah. back on it but i definitely think it's something that they're considering doing right. that wedding crashes too. i do remember hearing talks of wedding crashes too actually when it first came out because it's one of the biggest like uh it like actually kind of reinvented the r-rated comedy so mm-hmm. that i actually applaud it for like because there was a long period where pg-13 comedies were dominating the world and because the movies like wedding crashers we got movies that i love like super bad and knocked up and stuff where agent cody banks uh agent cody banks the rated r version like if you haven't gotten around to seeing the check unrated version check it out because shit goes down frankie moon is yeah <laughs> frankie moon is yeah um so wedding crash is a finally got around to watching it and i mean there are some funny moments overall but i didn't like that movie though <laughs> yeah i didn't like it i, I didn't like it the characters are just really unlikable, in my opinion. Uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. I mean, I like both of them, but they are it's weird. They made two supporting characters in every movie ever, the main stars of a movie, and it doesn't work well, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, Owen it Wilson's like likable, but... So going with the sequel with this, I had no idea where to go with it. So I overall do have a sequel. I know you uh-huh. kind of have an idea for a sequel. Too, My idea it. would just be where can you go from crashing weddings, funerals, obviously. Okay. Funeral so, crashers. All movie. right. So, all right. Mine's definitely different than that then overall. <laughs> so wedding crashers. Uh, what's So we have uh, Jeremy played by Vince Vaughn and John played by Owen Wilson. And the movie ends with Jeremy getting married to Ella Fisher and mm-hmm. stuff. So I was like. All right, right on. But like he hasn't been friends with John. Then John all of a a sudden decides he wants to be friends with Jeremy. And he (laughs) crashes the wedding and breaks up uh, um, Rachel McAdams with Bradley Cooper. Surprisingly, is a young Bradley Cooper. I did not know he was in it. Bradley Cooper is fucking It's a star turning performance. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that and Midnight Meat Train, I guess, because I guess he's in that too. He's the lead of Midnight Meat Train. Yeah, I haven't gotten around to seeing. It. I tried watching, it and it felt is, very early two thousand. Is the porn parody of Midnight Meat Train just the same exact movie? I would imagine it's, <laughs> it's the same just, title. Like, yeah. Change anything yeah. too? It's just probably good. Yeah. Oh, midnight man. Meat Train. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 2 a.m. midnight or 2 a.m. meat train. No, midnight meat train has like. It just has that alliteration going yeah. for midnight meat, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh. That's disgusting. <laughs> it, it's it, for the porn version, it's just meat, M E E T, like mm-hmm. midnight. Oh, they meet, met yeah, up. People meet yeah, there on that the makes train. sense. <laughs> um, so with Wedding Crashes 2, though, or the end of Wedding Crashes is cracking up because he breaks or he crashes the wedding, but then they don't get married, though. <laughs> Vince Vaughn and Ella Fisher, they all go inside a car together. All four of the main characters leave in a car. And I'm just like, wait, you're abandoning your own wedding. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Yeah, you would think that he's crashing like Rachel McAdams' wedding with like Bradley Cooper or something. But that's not the case. They are engaged technically, mm-hmm. but they're not getting married. He crashes his best friend's wedding and then they all leave the wedding together. It's like, so wait, did they get married? So I was trying to come up with sequels from here. And that's where I was just like having so much of a nightmare. I don't want like to have an Anchorman 2 or a Zoolander 2. Yeah. Where they just bring back characters and they're doing the same exact thing and stuff. So I was like, wait, so do I have to force them? Like does one of their wives have to die and stuff? And they're like, oh, let's get back into wedding crashing Mm -hmm. or something. So with the sequel, here's what I have overall. Will Ferrell's character. He comes back. He's kind of the central plot point overall. He's gone over crashing funerals now, finally. So I kind of fucked up your sequel. I do want to hear your thoughts on the sequel, though. It's it's just that I would think it would be funny if they crashed funerals because people, when they're grieving, are like vulnerable. Yeah. And it's kind of really dark, but they're taking advantage of grieving people. (laughs) Which is working for Will Ferrell, I guess. So he's getting a lot of girls, I guess. Uh Um, And the funeral scene's like booming, I guess. And he's trying to get Owen Wilson to join in on the fun. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't work out because his moral compass is like bigger yeah so i just imagine though it's so that movie is now about 10 years old i imagine it actually taking place 10 years later we are in the modern time 
uh, Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn are happily married with Rachel McAdams and Ella Fisher. They're still besties, but Will Ferrell has grown up to be in a, like a proper adult, found someone he met at a funeral, mm-hmm. and they're getting married and stuff. And uh, they're invited to go, of course, yeah. Uh-huh. They're invited to go to the wedding, and this is where the sequel kind of develops. There's a younger generation. I imagine a fucking wolf boy from Twilight being the new wedding Taylor crusher. Lautner? <laughs> Taylor Lautner. Someone you just you mean fucking... shark boy? Yeah, shark, shark boy, boy and lava, lava girl. girl. <laughs> yeah. I imagine him being uh, like... I do like that. They He's ca- tried to do a comedy before, mm-hmm. so... Oh, uh, with uh, Grown Ups Part 2. I hear it worked out pretty well. The Adam movie, yeah. Ridiculous Six. I exactly, think. the Ridiculous Six. <laughs> But I imagine overall, so a new cast of uh, wedding crashers trying to crash um, Will Ferrell's wedding and uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. They know what they're getting into. Like, they know what's going on. It's like they pick it out right away. Like, their fun times start coming back and stuff. So the goal is them fighting these wedding crashers. Overall, the wedding hasn't happened, but or the wedding has happened, but then this reception party, I guess. Somehow these new kids are good, though. They're, like, on another level. I don't know anything about wedding crashing. Uh-huh. But they're just on another level, and they're, like, ahead, like, of the game. Like, they're, like, working there. Yeah. Like, as, like, fake disguises with, like, a mustache right. and, like, the glasses. And they figured out a way to become best friends with, like, the maid of honor or something. And so they can't get kicked out, but Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson are reading right through them. And I don't want to like recreate like a football scene or something, but just like I just imagine a lot of shit going down with this, though. Like you can have a lot of fun scenarios. Did I come up with any? Not really overall. Well, I think it would just be funny to see like them being like jealous, like, mm-hmm. oh, do these guys know what they're doing. But who's going to be your other wedding crasher? Right. Shannon Tatum. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon <laughs> Tatum. Two buff guys. Yeah. Taylor Lautner. Because mm-hmm. they, they are funny. Like they're like just buff actors, yeah. but for some reason can be funny. Yeah. And then fuck it. We're going to throw in the guy who taught them everything. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel comes in. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> He's the funeral crasher <laughs> kind of guy, basically. And, like, for some reason, a cake appears. Like, uh-huh. they're about to cut the cake, but it's Vin Diesel coming out of it. Oh, and, my like, gosh. A stripper. <laughs> That's hilarious. And yeah. then he thinks it's the bachelor party, yeah. but it's actually the wedding. Yeah. I can imagine that Will Ferrell, though, he's found, like, a very vulgar girlfriend. Like, they met at a funeral and stuff. Yeah. So, And she probably was in on the joke and stuff. Maybe, like, kind of switched it out on him. But they're having like just a wild wedding where they want anything to go with like the bachelor party or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to think who his wife could be Mm -hmm. or like, I can imagine. uh, I mean, uh, uh, Catherine Hahn, is that her name? Possibly. Yeah. She's funny. I think she's, she's always kind of playing the same character overall, but uh, what is it? Step brothers. Yeah. She's kind of a creep. Yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she's a different character, I guess an anchor man, but that's far out though. Mm -hmm. She has a very small role in that, but yeah yeah i heard she loves dick what <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's in a new show called i love dick it's oh on okay gotcha I was, it's on Amazon. <laughs> I was like all right <laughs> isn't that a weird title for a show it's yeah. literally the show's called i love dick right on. and she's the lead in it. so back with wedding crashers overall i just thought it would be kind of unfair and just kind of a cop-out feel just really out of ordinary and turn it into a zoolander-esque sequel uh-huh. where if you kill rachel mcadams or Ella fisher and then or force them to break up just for no reason and then they go back to what they're doing i just felt that was too much because they're already old dudes anyways being like 35 in that movie yeah. now seeing them kind of do the same thing at 45 I just thought, like, oh, that's a little too much. And I thought it would just make them a lot more likable because that was my problem. I didn't find them Mm likable. And I think there's more ways to find them likable here. But for the first time in this show, I was like, fuck, like, I'm a writer now hired to do a movie. Like, I actually just do not want to do because I didn't want to see a sequel to, like, say the thing mm-hmm. but you at least like the source material but where this you didn't like this i don't material. like the source material so this is a tough one this is actually an interesting and different challenge like mm-hmm. i dug it yeah i like the thing that you came up with because it's like it's all going to take place at this wedding but you also have like this kind of neighbors vibe going where mm-hmm. it's like old guys versus the young guys exactly you know i kind of like that yeah i think i think it's smaller where you could go with this crazy big story but it's It's going to be more funny if it's like a smaller movie, I feel like. And it's funny also, like, you can add in a joke with today's music, too. Like, back then, we were part in the Little John, like, where you can actually hear the lyrics yelling versus the... Right now, everybody trying to rap the same style with the... uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Amigos, but all them niggas sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
those kind of rap yeah, songs. Yeah. The eeny, meeny, miny, mo yeah. rap. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we could have like a scene with that, maybe a dance off with Channing Tatum or uh, John Cena breaking out of a keg. I feel like John Cena actually might need to be the mentor. John Cena. I liked Vin Diesel, though. Yeah. Vin Diesel's got to be in it. Yeah. He's got to say, like, I am Groot or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> or instead, no, instead of I am Groot, he's like, I am hard. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit. Yeah. But Tom Hanks was the first one, and he. he God, you're so beautiful. God, she's so beautiful, man. <laughs> am I right or wrong? Look at her. Thank you. How am I supposed to do this interview? Look at yeah. this woman. Tell me your story. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Go on, yo, man. Talk to me, baby. Tell me I'm your blushing. story. <laughs> Tell me your. Let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's go have lunch. My God, I love her. Look how beautiful she is. Thank you. God, wow. There could be like a crazy vulgar bachelor party scene and you got to have the drug trip scene, I guess. Like what's a funny, like why, why not go with the, what's the one that like zombie bath salts, why not just go there? Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Just go there. It hasn't been filmed besides yeah. VHS or wasn't it VHS? No, ABCs of Death. Oh, the right, first yeah. One. That's like the most that bath salts is. Taylor Lautner puts bath salts in the punch. <laughs> no one goes crazy eating but yeah it's like sisters basically yeah. like that drug scene exactly just not good over the top as hell oh man bobby mm -hmm. moynihan yeah. back bring him in Why yeah, not? yeah. <laughs> now it's turning into just the cliche sequel but yeah, yeah. even yeah. though it is already a cliche of a sequel but yeah. uh so i guess it's time to challenge you next week um I, we're actually going to give it to you guys we're letting you decide thanks so much for the comments guys this one was uh made by ben we're i'm going to challenge you but mainly ben's challenge uh let's see a sequel to the breakfast club sweet i'm yeah. i'm down to do the breakfast club i don't think it's a movie that needs a sequel but it's i mean we say that about every single right. movie mm -hmm. that we do we're like oh it doesn't really need a sequel but we can try and i right. think that that's the fun part is just like trying to see what you could come up with even if it's bad exactly yeah. um which probably 90 percent of the time it is but mm -hmm. anyways i'm down to do breakfast club too uh, -huh. uh we'll but, see where it goes yeah thanks for the comments guys uh keep shouting them out uh we'll get to them as soon as we can uh we're busy fellas, but we're listening and thanks so much for the support. Yeah, let us know what you guys want us to sequelize. So just leave a comment, just name any movie. We'll try and do our best. And I know it probably won't be out right away, but we'll keep it coming. Cheers, guys. See you next week.